in Jesus name we say this is the day you've made and we are going to be glad and rejoice in it we give you for the blessings of this day we give you for the blessing of the Lord which make it rich and added no sorrow we say thank you we honor you this morning we say thank you for the blood thank you for the cross we say thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus Thank you, Lord, for the finished work of Calvary. We say thank you. Good morning, saints. Welcome back again to morning manna. Yes, we said we have to deal with the spirit of heaviness. For we know God wants us to be joy. The Bible tells us righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That the kingdom of God. If we go to the word of God again to Isaiah chapter 61, let us go to to Isaiah 61, the Bible tells us that we have to take away the garments to the, the, the spirit of heaviness and put on and put on the garment of praise. Isaiah 61, verse 3, it says they hallelujah to console those who mourn in Zion. God wants the mourners to be consoled. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, it is not God's desire that we continuously be in mourning. God wants us that the, that change might come. The Bible in the book of Psalms tells us that weeping can endure for a morning, but joy cometh in the morning. I want to declare that God expects us that our joy comes, that we put the garment of praise instead of mourning. Hallelujah. Let's go again to that scripture again. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Hallelujah. He says to give those who have to, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Mourning brings heaviness. Mourning brings a heavy spirit and a heavy heart. But God tells us He wants you and me to carry the spirit of joy. Today, if you're under the sound of mine, mine of my voice, I declare joy unspeakable. I declare joy forevermore. I declare joy which surpasses everything. The joy for the Lord, which is our strength. The Bible says the garment of praise instead of heaviness. So that's the solution. When God wants us to have joy, when God wants us to have to be to for, for, for heaviness to go. He says he gives us the garment of praise instead of heaviness. My brothers, my sisters, there's what is called the garment of praise. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, I want to pray, I want to pray and to pray for you that may the garment of praise be your portion in your life, for your life, for your children, and for your for, for everyone around you. As the Bible says, let everything that is prayed praise the Lord. When we praise Him, I mean, we heaviness goes. When there's praise, when there's praise, you can't get heaviness. So praise as you praise the Lord. Praise as you worship the Lord. Praise as you encourage also people around you. I always want to give good to give good good example. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. 
Yes, we are in families. We have to praise God because there are some believers who say, I only praise God. Yes, we are married. We have got children. We have got people around you. Learn to praise people around you. Learn to appreciate people around you so there can be joy around you. So there can be joy around you so that heaviness can go. If you don't see what the things God has given you that they are worth praiseworthy, heaviness will come out of it. But God tells us that we have to be praised so. As the Bible tells us that let everything that is breath praise the Lord. Let's go back again to Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. Oh glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. He says the garment of praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. So heaviness is a spirit. It can move around a person. But we say today the strong word of heaviness, the spirit of heaviness doesn't have a portion in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, create an atmosphere which is praiseful. Create an atmosphere which allows the Holy Spirit to hover around it so that miracles can happen in your life. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of joy. The Bible says righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Righteousness, joy. Yes, that's the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that they may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. When heaviness is not lingering around your life, God is glorified. Today, in your family, no matter what you face, no matter what you go through in your individual life, choose to be joyful. Choose to be joyful because choose to be praiseful. As we are praiseful, that heaviness go. We come against heavy spirits. You know, heavy spirits are not good at all. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have to break through. We have to break. We have to break free from, 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 from heaviness. I want somebody under the sound of my voice to say, I will purposely, purposefully, purposely break through, break away from heaviness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. As I said before, you have to intentionally listen to praise and worship. And you have intentionally to praise and worship God. We are not just to go to God with petitions and petitions. Wow. Welcome to our new season. We know as El Shaddai will receive the year, the word for next year. But our December is our season of praise and thanksgiving. And the theme for this December, December is building the altar of thanksgiving through praise and worship. So why am I saying this? It's a season just to thank God. You know, we have to break out from heaviness. We have to sing melodies. We have to make melodies regularly. Be a person who loves singing. Hallelujah. Be a person who loves praising the Lord. Just start a song. You know, there's something about music. It was created in heaven. Where there's music, there's joy. Where there's music, there's celebration. Where there's music, heaviness go. So what am I saying? When thoughts are coming, which are deepening your spirit, which are jumping your inner man, which makes you so low, what do you do? Turn on your praise songs. Turn on and your praise songs within you. Go and be praiseful. You know, be praiseful to what God has done to you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Make praise a routine. Hallelujah. While we are sweeping, be praising. While we are typing, be praising. While we are driving, be praising. While you are sitting in the bathroom, be praising. Wherever you are, let melodies come from your spirit. As you sing, as you praise God, you raise your praises to God. And God is faithful. Heaviness won't be part of yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You also have to have time just to put the worship songs, reflect the goodness of God. Just put some worship songs. It's not all the time we need to be going up and down just shouting before God. There's a time for us just to be calm in the presence of God. In those worship songs, hallelujah, listening, hallelujah, respect. Re reflecting on God, writing what you believe God is doing for you. Hallelujah. And seeing the faithfulness and the character of God. You need times to worship God. You need time to see the faithfulness of God. 
Hallelujah. You have to recall the goodness of the Lord in our lives. When you remember the goodness of God in your life, when I remember in the, the goodness of God in my life, it's so much that it will take days and years for me to recall it and write it down. That we must do. <coughs> if you are that, heaviness won't take us away. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. David says in Psalms 119, verse 164, it, he says, Psalms 119, verse 164, he says, Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgment. He was a habitual praiser. When you're a habitual praiser, you know, heaviness won't come your way. Psalms 119, verse 164, you know, he says, Seven times a day. Seven times a day. Hallelujah. A day I will praise you. Because of your righteous judgment. Seven times he was a habitual praiser. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, may praising God, may worshiping God be your habit. May praising God, may worshiping God be your habit. As we praise him, hallelujah, the heaviness fall away from our heart. Because he requires us to be praiseful. It is his desire that we be praiseful. As we praise him, we, we break we break. We break out from the spirit of heaviness, from the spirit of heaviness. A heavy heart will bring a heavy mother. A heavy heart will bring a heavy hearted father. It will take joy in the family. A heavy heart will bring a heavy face. When you enter in your room, the, a room, the space you enter in, it feels what in your heart. You know, rooms and atmosphere, they sense what you are carrying. Oh, I'm just thinking about one of the pillars which the apostle told us yesterday. So one of the pillars of 2020 is atmosphere. And he said, the children of Israel carried the atmosphere wherever they were. They were in the desert, but in the desert, temperatures can be too high or too low. But they carried an atmosphere. They had a cloud which was going by them. What am I saying concerning and then the spirit of heaviness. Carry an atmosphere of praise wherever you go, no matter what happens your way, no matter what comes your way, no matter what the devil puts you on your way on, or on your path. What must you do? You have to carry the atmosphere of, of praise. As you praise him, no matter what comes your way, God is faithful. Hallelujah. We refuse to have faint spirit. God doesn't want us to have faint spirit. We refuse to carry faint spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse to have faint hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. If you're under the sound of my voice, I want you to say, I refuse to carry a faint spirit no matter where I am and no matter what I face. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We want to go to the word of God. Psalms 139 verse 23. Let's go to Psalms 139. Verse 23, oh, glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Psalms 139, verse 23. It says there, oh, search me, oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Verse 24, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to the next verse. It says, and see if there is any wickedness in me and lead me in the way that is everlasting. We are talking about that we must all deal with the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have to deal with the spirit of heaviness. It's good that you say, Holy Spirit, look into my heart. What is bringing me down? What is bringing me down? Because we need to deal with the heavy spirit. Sometimes you just, it just become like a, it's a cycle, it's a routine. You just feel, oh, I'm not happy. Ah, what is happening? People are laughing in the middle of something. They are celebrating God. You know, something just speaks in your heart. The devil just sent a thought in your heart. Then, you know, you are so down and out. Why am I saying this morning? It's important for, say, Lord, what is the cause, cause of this spirit of heaviness? Because you have to deal with it. Sometimes, as I said before, it's because of bitterness. 
is because of unforgiveness. It's also because of unconfessed sin. So we have to say, Lord, what makes me not so happy? It's because you're ungrateful. It's because of what you've been facing through through a long time, a long time. And if you think about that, inside you, you feel defeated. But thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. What do you do? We go back to the scripture. We search the scripture. We say, Lord, what does what do you say about this situation? Yes, it has been 10 years. It has been 15 years. I've been waiting for a breakthrough. But what do you say to me concerning this situation? You go to scripture. As we go to scripture, God is ever faithful. The word of God, the Bible says, your word is a lamp unto my feet. The word of God will encourage you. The word of God will give you, you know, the word of God will give you hope. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. He says, oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in, in perfect faithfulness, you have done wondrous things. You have to believe why do we praise him. We know that he is a faithful God. In your perfect faithfulness, you, are, you have done wonders, wonderful things. Your counsel is of old and faithful and true. You know, he says in your perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things which were planned long ago. So no matter what I go through, I know God is faithful. So I'll praise him. Why do I praise him? Because I know he's a faithful God. Because I know he is a good God. I know that God will see me through. If we go to Psalms 150, verse 6, the word of God tells us, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We say the solution of heaviness is, is thanksgiving. You know, I mean, heaviness is praising God. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So why do I praise the Lord? Because I've got breath. As long as I'm breathing, I don't care what I don't have, I praise him. Because as I praise him, heaviness go and the spirit of the garment of praise is me. And God dwells in the praises of his people and solution comes my way. So we have to introspect what causes me to be heavy. Is it what has happened in my life? What causes me to be happy? Is it an unconfessed sin? What, help, what causes me to be happy? Sin, you know, remember, remember, re remember sin which is not confessed will make you so heavy. Hidden sins, secret sins will make you heavy. When you sin in the secret place and you don't tell your wife, you don't tell your husband, you don't tell your sisters, you know, it haunts you. It haunts you. And the devil, that's what he used to haunt you. You are not happy. Your inward man is grieved. And also, even if you did something and God has even forgiven you, you have confessed your sin. If you are not careful, the devil continues to haunt you. You tell, hey, remember the one you committed a doubt. Hey, remember. Remember, you're the one used to steal money in the company. Yeah, remember, I did this. But what do we say? If we confess our sin, he's just and willing to forgive us. And he forgets. So if you've got any kind of confessed sin, the best way to beat the enemy is to confess the sin. After from confessing the, 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 the sin, you tell the devil right in his face that the Lord has forgiven me. The Lord has forgiven me completely. I no more have condemnation. As the Bible tells, there is no more condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Yes, we do no longer walk according to the flesh, but the Holy Spirit. Yes, if you confess even the wrong things, you know, you were supposed to do in your, in your family, for your children, for your wife, my brothers, my sisters, for your brethren, things might not go the way we want them to do. People will make mistakes. People will err. We are not perfect. The Bible says we are unto perfection. As long as I know I'm not perfect, as I'm not perfect, I know all people around me are not perfect. Sometimes in families, in relationship, as husbands and wives, don't try to act perfection. Don't try to make somebody a perfect bad person. You know, we are all being perfected. We are all being improved. We all make mistakes. So don't live artificial life. 
to be perfect to everyone. Yes, I will make mistakes. Yes, you will make mistakes. What we need is forgive each other. If any marriage is one person may not deliver what they promised them to do, they've tried. You know, they went out there, they wanted to do a deal. It was a flop. All the money went. We must know that no one is perfect. So let's not hold our brothers, our sisters and ra at ransom because of what they failed to do. Let's know that God is faithful. He's working in us. He will give us another chance to improve, to be better. So let us not let joy, not forgiving ourselves, comparing ourselves with the next person. The Bible says those who compare each other are not wise. If you compare yourself with the brother next to door, you know, if you compare yourself with the mother next to door, you are not wise. Why? Because that will bring heaviness to you. The Bible tells godliness with contentment is is great joy. So I speak to you this morning that you have to choose to be content, that you have to be choose to be joyous. You have to be choose that the joy of the Lord be your strength. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. As I close, I'm going to read Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and adominish one another. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly for heaviness to go. There must be a richness of the word of God in you. Hallelujah. In all wisdom, teaching, adominishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Number one, the word of God must dwell in us richly. Number two, hallelujah. We must, you know, you know, you know, you know we must teach encourage one another in wisdom hallelujah you know in in it says singing i mean you know encouraging one another in psalms hymns spiritual songs singing with grace for your heart in your heart to the lord singing with grace you know in your heart to the lord what am i saying this morning a psalm must come out of you a hymn must come out of you a spiritual song must come out of you and the word of god must dwell in you richly. In this season, you know, we thank God. Let there be praise, let there be worship, let there be adoration coming out of our, of our mouth. The Bible says, let everything that is breath praise the Lord. It's your portion. You know, be decide that I'm going to be praiseful. Decide that I'm going to carry joy in Jesus' name. God bless you and good morning. Have a great Monday ahead. Jesus is Lord. Amen. I overcame. How many overcomers? I overcame. I overcame.